The news, uh, good evening. The Ministry of Health has confirmed the passing of a first COVID-19 patient who had been fully vaccinated. But according to the Ministry, the patient had other underlying conditions and it has not yet been confirmed whether his death was COVID-related. According to updates provided during this afternoon's press conference, as of last night, a total of 46 deaths or 0.4% of the total number of uh, cumulative uh, COVID cases have been recorded so far. On the other hand, the total number of cases so far is 12,973 with 1,293 which are still active. 27% uh, of the active cases, 351, are on uh, Pralin and La Ligue. 27% of these active cases were on Pralin and Ladig, 264 on Prale and 87 on Ladig, and the rest were on Mahi. What we have also uh, reported is almost 90% of cases have so far recovered. And uh, unfortunately, the trend, the downward trend that we saw uh, from uh, mid May towards the third week of May seems to have stabilized now and it's not going any further down. So that means that the uh, the outbreak, community transmission, community transmission is continuing and uh, we need to place more emphasis on prevention to bring it down. So these restrictive measures or, uh, that are in place must continue um, and maybe they might need to be reinforced for us to be a, better able to control the outbreak. We have, uh, among the active cases, um, there are large focus on the Inner Islands, Gantos, Besantan, and Ladig, but also we've uh, picked up a, uh, several places at Perseverance. Uh, otherwise, the other cases are scattered around the island. The management of uh, Constance Resorts has defended flying in 81 foreign workers to fill vacant hospitality posts. The Mauritians arrived yesterday on board a specially chartered flight to take jobs at Ephilia and Lemuria Resorts. It comes as more than a thousand Seychellois were recently reported to be hunting for work. Checking in today, some of the 81 Mauritians who flew into Seychelles to fill vacancies at Ophelia Resort. They include bar and restaurant staff, housekeepers and even sommeliers. And they know not everyone here is happy about it. I understand their concern, but we are just here to help and we hope that we will just make things getting better here. I think they are doing a great job and I think the Seychellois got the talent to do it. We're just here to bring our knowledge and just to assist them. Managers say they simply didn't have enough staff to handle a recent surge of guests as COVID restrictions ease. They've just recruited 150 local people. However, as you know, the new employees, they need time to be fully trained, to be fully operational, to be confident and comfortable in their, in their job. Uh, and this takes some time. So uh, hence the request to say um, we need some help. The hotel is running with almost 150 staff short of the 780 it normally requires. Meanwhile, Lemuria Resort in Prala will take 30 of the contingent to plug gaps there. It comes as latest figures show more than 1,000 unemployed Seychellois are currently looking for jobs. Two-thirds are women, many complaining there aren't enough jobs with working hours that fit with family life. We asked the Ministry of Employment to explain why these Mauritians were allowed into the country, but they said they'd be making no public statements until tomorrow. I was told, however, that this is an emergency contingent of staff and they will most definitely be leaving the country again in two months' time. We are confident that in the coming two to three months we will, we will be able to recruit the missing positions that we have in both our hotels. Our commitment is a temporary solution of task force for two months, and this is what it will be. Constance says the Mauritians, plucked from the island's three resorts, will go home in early August, resuming their old jobs when the tourist trade there restarts. As from the 1st of July, a direct flight from Saudi Arabia will fly to Seychelles three times per week. The agreement was signed between the two countries. 
after the Minister of State for African Country Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Ahmed Katan, met President Waverum Kalawan at State House this morning. Bilateral relations and the strengthening of cooperation in various uh, domains such as fisheries, agriculture and economy, the economy between Seychelles and Saudi Arabia were topics discussed during the meeting. Minister Katan also met with the Minister for Foreign Affairs and Tourism, Sylvain Stradogon, the Minister for Finance, Nadi Hassan, and other government officials. Minister Katan is on an official visit to Seychelles and will leave the country tomorrow. Regarding the Kingdom's Vision 2030, I discussed ways to improve the exchange of trade between our two countries and ways to engage the private sector in projects that will reflect positively on the development in Seychelles and the exchange of economy between us. Also, I had the pleasure to reflect on His Royal Highness Crown Prince Initiatives, Saudi Green Initiative, and the Middle East Initiative, aiming to respond to climate change and protecting the environment. I also affirmed our support for development in Africa, and I discussed the Kingdom's allocation and announced in Paris last May of $1 billion project through the Saudi Fund for Development in Africa during this year. I discussed with His Excellency issues of mutual interest and concern, primarily the Palestinian cause and conflict in Yemen. Also, I expressed our alarm vis-a-vis -vis the danger of Iran's expansionist policy particularly in the Middle East and the African continent. Also, I had the great pleasure in meeting my colleague, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, with whom I shared the Kingdom's position on many issues, mutual concern, and an update on the Kingdom's initiative to establish the Council of Arab and African Coastal States of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden to ensure security, stability, and the safety of the vital Red sea region. The Seychelles Revenue Commission, the SRC, has collected 6.3 billion rupees in taxes last year. This is a reduction of around 833 million rupees in tax revenue compared to 2019. SRC's performance report for 2020 also shows that tourism was the highest contributor of domestic tax, but the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted on overall tax collection. The Commissioner General of the SRC, Veronique Ermini, handed over a copy of the annual report to the Finance Minister, Nadi Hassan, who has pledged his ministry's support in further modernizing the SRC. I would like to reiterate the Ministry of Finance support towards the modernization of the tax laws and also the efficiency in terms of uh, tax collection. Uh, with that, there's a number of initiatives in terms of di digitalizing the services offered by SRC and also the workflow uh, within SRC. Second aspect of, of the assistance that uh, we will give to the Revenue Commission is building the technical capacity to ensure greater tax compliance. The National Youth Council today launched its uh, annual values campaign. The four values adopted for this year are appreciation, cooperation, responsibility and love. The ceremony to officially launch the campaign took place at the National Youth Council Secretariat. It was the chief executive uh, of uh, the SNYC, Penny Belmo, who launched the campaign. Present at the ceremony were staff of the SNYC, representatives and students from a site, amongst others. Two men in a pickup had a lucky escape this afternoon when their truck left the road at uh, La Misere and plunged into a ravine. The vehicle, belonging to Mahe Shipping, skidded as it rounded a bend at Fairview on its way towards town. The pickup smashed through a wall and snapped an electricity pole before coming to rest below the road. There were no injuries. And with this, uh, we end uh, this uh, news uh, summary.